The deal is Mikey B, a.k.a. the Mikey Step Back channel. We're getting into the first session of We Talking, and it's basically looking at all the stats and the numbers right now. And in this particular review, I'm going to go over the rookies. This is raw, old radio style format. No videos as, as of yet. Got to figure out how to not de demonetize and put the videos up. But we're going to go over the rookies and understand the situation with the draft picks and who was picked and who was at who's at the top, etc. Through the first, uh, I'll say probably three most games you could have played, I believe, is possibly three games. Let me just go ahead and segue. So three games, two games played for most of these kids. And at the top of the charts, believe it or not, are some of the top three picks. You know, the only guy that's outside of this realm is LaMelo Ball. Uh, but he's still within the top 10. And let's go over who what we got. James Wiseman, a guy that, man, I told you he was deadly. Chris Webber with athleticism. That's what comes to mind for me. If you ever watch Chris Webber, check out James Wiseman and Chris Webber. Do a comparison. They look like twins, man, at the end of the day. Great foot movement, taller, more athletic has everything. Let me give you something that surprised a lot of people with James Wiseman as I step to the right. Even though he's getting most of these poor points in garbage minutes, I'm just being straight up with you guys. He, she's shooting four or five from three-point land at over 80%. Yeah, yeah, I'm, are we talking now, man. We're we going to stop on that one. Seven foot, probably over a 35-inch vertical, good foot movement, can post, and then you get this. Hey, Golden State Warriors currently, oh, oh, it's only been two games. They got a steal in James Wiseman. 9 of 14 needs help with the free throw percentage. Rebounds through two games, 14 rebounds in total. at seven a game. Three turnovers and three blocks. Almost a block, point three per freaking game. None more to stay on this kid. It is a steal. He is a steal. 19 years old on top of it. Played 49 minutes. Yeah, I like what I see after, after Mr. Wiseman. Let's go into the next guy, Anthony Edwards. Clear as day on the list, right? I didn't think he would look so good so early, uh, but it may be a gesture more so of him playing with some, I would say, veterans now, even though we consider them young bucks. Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell. Yeah, that, that helps out a lot, puts off a lot of pressure and allows you to just ISO and kill. Yeah, let's start talking, man. Go to the right, another 19-year-old doing his thing. 33 points through two games. It's about 16 and a half per game. Um, shooting 54% from the field, 37% from three, four for four from the free throw line, five assists, five rebounds. So he's a gamer. At the end of the day, Anthony Edwards is the lights on kind of guy. When the lights come on, he turns on. I know he had a couple preseason games that looked a little bit shaky, but now after the second game, looks like he's getting starting to get a little bit of a feel of the NBA speed. And that's, I think, the biggest adjustment when you got everybody that's just as athletic as you or more cunning and, and are just vets and know how to be in certain spots better than you do. That'll take about, I think, half the season for him to fully get acclimated. And then you'll see that turn up usually at the end of the season for most players. And in the second season, you may see something ridiculous. Now, if he's given free reign, he, he would have bigger numbers, but he's not. But Anthony Edwards, with that long wingspan, uh, that strong dribble, strong, strong finishing capability, looking good through game number two. My next guy, Pat Williams. Again, everyone was, like, scratching their head on this draft pick. I said, Phew. Then I saw a couple films, and then I saw a couple, you know, the mixtape. I'm getting pulled into the mixtape bourgeoisie on the freaking YouTube. And I said, skill set looks amazing. Looks like a Kawhi Leonard Jr. Through two games, 25 points, you know, that gives you around 13, 12 and a half per game. Shooting 41% from the field. That's, uh, I need some work. Two for four from three, not bad. Nine for 10 at the free throw line. Really like that stat. Tells me he can get to the paint. Get hit, get fouled, and he's gonna he's gonna produce on those free points. Six rebounds through two games, three again. He needs to do more there at his young age, and then two blocks. So 
Uh, I really infer him. Wow, four turnovers though, so that's a little high. Maybe uh, he is not a dribbler either, so that's interesting. Uh, we got to see that improve as well. But Pat Williams looking good through the first two games. Patrice Precious Achua. I mean, they got they got already got Bam. Then they had this guy. Both unique names and unique skill sets. Nineteen points, almost nine and a half a game. Eight for eleven. High percentage. Seventy two. He's a dunker. Won't see him shoot too much of the three point line. Three for six from from the free throw line. Needs help there. Six rebounds. Okay, and the big one I wanted to look at is the block shots. Only one block shot. So uh, again, precious. In a tough situation in a way, but in a good one because he's playing against a guy who I think he will complement well. And there are similar characteristics outside of Bam's uh, outstanding handling ability for his size, um, obviously, in his in his sweet touch. So um, Precious doing well for what he is. I consider him a bigger Dennis Rodman, uh, potentially, with athleticism. So that's scary. Cole Anthony comes in big time. 15 points through the first two games, backing up Markel, 43% from the field, but only one for five from three. That will come. Uh, he's putting up about 11 assists within the two games, which is about six and a half, five and a half per, um, and seven rebounds. Turnovers, he has three a little high and then two steals. Not bad from Cole Anthony. I bet he was a sleeper. A lot of folks didn't think he would be doing this good this early, but it is what it is, and he's making things happen. Here goes the surprise. Nate Anthony, 23-year-old senior, comes in 14.7 a game. Not bad. Four for seven from the field, two for three from the three-point line, 66%. I mean, he has similar numbers to Therese Halliburton, who is playing absorbably more minutes than he is. So if you look at it, through two games, he's had he's he's had 14 points, uh, and Tyrese Halliburton's in the same point, the same kind of bucket. Two games, but 56 minutes and 14 points. So um, kind of re- kind of sad return on investment. Four for 11 for Halliburton. Two for eight for three. Um, and he's also putting up uh, nine assists, which is the big, big, big uh, plus up on Halliburton versus Nathan Wright. And that's what he brings to the table. Uh, Jay Sean Tate, a guy that was involved in, in I, I was told, the scuffle. It has come in is really making some noise. Really like what I'm seeing from Jay Sean. I do think there's an opportunity for him to do very well in this NBA as a role player. Excited to see what he can bring to the table. LaMelo Ball comes in 19 years old, 13 points, five for five, not shooting well from either side, field goal or three point range, not, not shooting well from the free throw line, even though he only has two attempts. Assist wise, let's go up. Only has. Four assists. So LaMelo needs to turn it up big time. He needs to turn it up. We got to figure this out for LaMelo, and we'll get that cracking. I think in time he'll get his flow going. I do think if the if the Hornets don't run, he's on the wrong team and needs to get traded. Let's get into number 10, okay? And, and obviously they're not going to trade him, so it's like a four-year four year window for that LaMelo ball talk right there. Danny Avija, big Europe. Let's go. Let's go, big Europe. Let's, let's go. I am looking at it. 12 points. 12 points. Uh, and, again, nice field goal percentage from Denny. Great field. Oh, my God. 50. Wow. I mean, shooting three-point range, he's perfect. Free throws, he's sucking it up. But, man, Denny Avija is looking pretty good. Seven rebounds, three assists with... One turnover. Watch out for that. Watch out for for Danny Avija. He's he's really. I know the points are low, but when you look at what he's doing, he's efficient. Watch out for Danny Avija. We may see him pop right up the charts once he gets comfortable and starting to shoot the ball. Obviously, he has two guys to take the pressure off him: Westbrook and Mister Bradley Bill. Uh, so this is exciting. Next next up, Desmond Bain. Is number the ace on this team. Okay. Through two games, 12 points, uh, 57% from the field, 66% from three. The biggest surprise, scouting on Memphis knows what they're doing. They really do. Shout outs to them. Almost five rebounds through two games. Only one turnover. 
nothing much else there, but he's a solid player. Really surprised me. Um, and I am excited to see what else they get out of Desmond Bain. That was just an interesting pick and it's paying off. Outside of that, who's an honorable mention? I think Okoro looked okay. Uh, the rest of the guys are really sucking wind, especially Killian Hayes. For the minutes that he's able to play, 41 minutes. Uh, I don't like what I'm seeing, bro. Isaac Okoro has the most minutes. It's not really not really steadying through. Devin Vessel's going to have trouble getting minutes. I understand that on the Spurs. Killian Hayes, he does have the minutes. Peyton Pritchard as well. Uh, on Boston, he's playing, but uh, is he really playing is the question. Obi Toppin, a little injury for him, but I think he'll come back nine points. I think that's an honorable mention guy. Tyrese, Tyrese Max, he looks okay for the uh, Philadelphia 76ers. Jordan Noir thought he would break into a role. Seven points, again, not bad. Well, one game, uh, two for six uh, from the free field goal line is not going to do it, and one for three for three is not going to do it. So, uh, next one over is Chomi Okoki, and I think that about that's about it. Emmanuel quickly was another guy everyone was talking about. You know, he got 12 minutes, five points, not bad. These guys need minutes, and I think that's about it. We don't have that much else who's playing in this league. Uh, let's make a noise. So I'm gonna leave it at that at our top 10. And as mentioned, it's a new NBA. And the big man may be back, but they can shoot the three. Wiseman, man, yeah, we talking. I'm out of here. Let's step back.